If you were rooting for Sharon and Nick to become Genoa City's next super couple, get ready to be disappointed. Joshua Morrow has just dropped a bombshell about his on-screen chemistry with his co-star, and it's bound to shake things up. Plus, the two young rebels in town are about to flip Genoa City on its head. So watch along to find out all about it. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Every time we think about Nick and Sharon, it always hits us with nostalgia. We all know Victor and Nikki are the couple of Young and the Restless. No matter what went down between them, they always found their way back. But the real question is, who's going to fill that spot next? It's about time we got a new super couple like Victor, Nikki on the show, and if you ask the fans, they got a couple of them on their mind. But one couple that everyone can agree to is the incomplete story of Sharon and Nick. Sharon and Nick have that one-of-a-kind chemistry that every fan still craves for. I mean, let's be honest, ever since they broke up, we have been waiting for them to get back together. And it's not just us. The writers even tease us with them every year. It's almost like they're about to get back together, but both Nick and Sharon don't really make any move on each other. And we're just left hanging, missing them even more. We all still have this soft corner for this couple, hoping one day in future they will be an endgame as well. But turns out, that is not really the case for the actors behind it. Joshua Morrow, who has played the ever-charming Nick Newman on The Young and the Restless for decades, recently shared some interesting insights into his character's romantic entanglements. Fans often compare Nick and Sharon to the iconic duo of Victor and Nicky Wright? But Morrow thinks that's like comparing apples to oranges. According to him, there's a difference that sets these couples apart. In an interview with Soaps.com, Morrow says, Victor and Nicky didn't have a Phyllis. But Nick and Sharon, on the other hand, do have a Phyllis. He thinks that's always going to be a problem for the couple. Over the years, Victor and Nicky have faced countless challenges, from ruthless business rivals to meddling exes. But like we said, their relationship has endured the test of time. But as Moro points out, that's nothing compared to the threat Phyllis brings in. I mean because of Phyllis, Sharon and Nick never became the same. It just altered the whole love game. But don't worry, Moro isn't complaining. In fact, he sees it as one of the highlights of his time on the show. My favorite storyline I've ever had is the Sharon, Nick, Phyllis triangle, Moro confesses. This love triangle didn't just spice up the storyline, it redefined Nick as a character. It took him from being a typical soap opera heartthrob to a complex, multi-layered figure caught between two powerful women. On one side, there's Sharon, the girl next door, who captured Nick's heart when they were young. Their love story is a classic Romeo and Juliet tale, where they're constantly battling the odds to be together. Their relationship has seen its fair share of ups and downs, with both Nick and Sharon inflicting deep wounds on each other over the years. Yet, no matter how many times they break up, there's always a part of Nick that is drawn back to Sharon, unable to fully let go of their shared history. But then there's Phyllis, who brings a completely different dynamic into Nick's life. While Sharon represents youthful love and nostalgia, Phyllis is all about that passion and unpredictability. Her entry into Nick's life came just after the tragic death of his daughter, Cassie. That relationship came out of this incredible loss, and it really saved Nick. He was going down a bad path, says Moro. Like Phyllis didn't just offer Nick comfort, she pulled him back from the brink, giving him a reason to keep going when he was at his lowest. This is where the comparison with Victor and Nikki really falls apart. Sure, Victor and Nikki have had their fair share of troubles, but none of them are the kind of existential threat to their relationship that Phyllis does to Nick and Sharon. Phyllis isn't just a distraction or a fling, she's a cornerstone of Nick's life, someone who has shaped him in ways that are impossible to ignore. And unlike Victor, who may occasionally be tempted by other women, but always returns to Nikki, Nick is genuinely torn between Sharon and Phyllis. He's never going to turn the page on either one of them, Moro explains. They're always going to go back. They've got too much history and too much love for each other. It's this unresolved tension that keeps fans on the edge of their seats. Chic fans and thick fans may be at each other's throats, but deep down, they all know that Nick's heart will forever be divided between these two incredible women. It's a different kind of love, but it's love on both sides, Morrow says. This love triangle is more than just a plot, it's the emotional core of Nick's character, something that defines who he is, and how he navigates his relationships. 
Moro is also quick to praise his co-stars, Sharon Case and Michelle Stafford, calling them awesome talents and really good friends. He's clearly fond of the dynamic they've created on screen, a dynamic that has kept viewers hooked for years. The chemistry between these three actors is undeniable, and it's a big part of why this love triangle works so well. That triangle is very special to me. I love those two women, Moro adds. It's not just about the drama or the romance, it's about the deep, complicated connections that have formed between these characters over the years. In the end, Moro leaves the future of Nick's love life up to the show's writers, saying that it's ultimately their decision, who Nick ends up with. But one thing is certain, whether he's with Sharon or Phyllis, Nick's heart will always be torn between these two women. It just depends on what the show wants, but it'll never go away, he says. And that's what makes this love triangle so compelling, it's not just about who Nick will choose, but about the journey he takes to get there. So while we fight between Shik and Fick, Moro is just laid back, letting the show do what it does. But wait, let's talk about what's happening in Genoa City right now. The September 3rd episode of The Young and the Restless might be setting the stage for a brand new power duo that's about to take the town by storm. I mean, the way Lucy was being scolded by her parents, while Billy was advising Katie to never give up on her goals? That's not just clever editing, it's a teaser for what's coming next. And we're all in for it! Lucy has been having a rough time, to say the least. In her attempt to fit in, she made up stories just to hang out with the older and more popular Faith. But when Faith didn't give her the time of day, Lucy took a dangerous turn and started drinking. One bad decision led to another, and before she knew it, she was in a car accident that didn't just put her in a tough spot but also triggered some painful memories for Sharon, Nick, and Daniel. Now, Lucy is facing the consequences. She's got community service to complete, she's been barred from taking a driver's license, and she's feeling like she's hit rock bottom. But here's the thing about Lucy, she's not the type to stay down for long. Instead of trying to fit in with the older crowd, she's planning to become the one everyone else wants to follow. All she needs is the right sidekick to make it happen. That's where Katie comes in. We haven't seen a ton of her yet, but what we do know is that she's got the drive. Remember when she explained to Billy why she wanted to be the captain of her school team? That's the kind of determination that could make her the perfect partner for Lucy. Together, they could be unstoppable. And let's not forget, Lucy isn't just any ordinary girl. She's the granddaughter of Phyllis and Sheila, two women who've caused nothing but chaos over the years. Katie has her own impressive lineage too, being the granddaughter of Victor Newman, Jill Abbott, and carrying the name of the legendary Catherine Chancellor. With bloodlines like these, both girls are practically destined to stir things up. So what happens when you pair up two girls with this much potential for drama? Genoa City better brace itself, because Lucy and Katie might just be the next big thing. What do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.